got a full house today. I'm John Quarterman. I live over in Lowndes County, between Hay Howard and Moody Air Force Base. And um, <coughs> I do not import most of my, of my energy. Now, next year, as new solar in Georgia, so you may not be aware that we've been doing solar for some time. I have 15 kilowatts of solar panels on top of my farm workshop roof. Now, when you put them on top of a building like that, it actually raises the property values. It's different you know, than the industrial plant next to someone else's property. You know, we call our place Oak of Paradise Farms. Our motto is halfway between Atlanta and Orlando and all the way to paradise. So we have 200 acres of longleaf pine forest. I, I, I hate to say it's not quite as good as some of the area that Next Era has chosen, but it's a pretty good spot. Um, I have a few connections to Quitma. My great great grandparents buried in West End Cemetery. My aunt died in the Presbyterian home, and I have another cousin in there now. And many of y'all, some of you are new, I see, but many of y'all have seen me here before. My aunt as Swanee Riverkeeper with the Walls Watershed Coalition. Uh, thank you for passing that resolution. It's called the Water Trail. You were the first county commission. Others have followed suit. And um, thank you for <coughs> putting rivers and springs into your comprehensive plan. So what has other people not said? You may not be aware that Florida Power and Light, next area is Florida subsidiary, is building solar farms, one per county all over Florida. Um, I'll pass the email. It's got a reference to their 10-year plan and spells that out. And they're mostly pretty good about picking sites that are mostly already clear in Swan County, Columbia County, and Union County, Florida. They weren't so careful. They're in the wetlands. And there they tried to put the solar panels back away from them. That's a map in here compared to what they're proposing here. This site, they're much more fragmented because there's creeks running through it, there's wetlands everywhere. And, of course, you have to cut down a large number of trees. You might wonder, why is next year targeting Brooks County for something they don't do in Florida? Perhaps because they can, unless you tell them not to. Um, and I do want to note, on the first page of the application, it says, incomplete applications will not be accepted. This thing is incomplete in many of the ways that you already heard of. It's also inconsistent. It says that the top, the existing use of properties, agricultural crops, and then on page nine it says historically been used for silviculture. Contradicts itself, <coughs> not the only place. Um, it's uh, in a forested area across the road from many other forests, yet it doesn't ever mention forest, wood, prescribed, burn. The only word for silviculture is the one I just uh, mentioned, only mentioned. And the only mention of trees is uh, in the context of clearing miscellaneous debris or vegetation. Trees are only good for tearing down, apparently. <coughs> it does also have one other mention of tree site layout assumes 50 feet tree height. That's not what I saw on Hodges Road. So, um, there's, there's nothing in there about what about prescribed burns, which you're going to have to do on their own property. It happens across the road. What if that gets across the road? It says that their fire prevention for the panels is a fence. Does that stop wind from carrying sparks? I don't think so. And conversely, smoke can reduce solar panel output. We've got a reference in here on that. So are the nearby landowners going to get complaints from next era if they do prescribed burns? And um, if so, are they going to get sued by next era? I didn't see any guarantee in there that won't happen. I could talk about herbicides, but frankly, I don't want to. Um, so, all right, it says in here, contaminated materials are not expected. However, if any such materials were encountered during excavation, they would be disposed of. Here's the perfect facility in accordance with applicable wall ordinance regulations and standards. This is the same company that you've already heard that is part owner of Sable Trail. 
And um, the Walls Mine Organization calls them illegally burning in Bruce County at the Industrial Park, just uh, probably not a mile from where we are currently at the moment. Uh, George Forestry Commission got there before I did and said, I know that if they don't have a permit for that, and even if they did for burning, they shouldn't be burning what they're burning. Uh, Georgia. Finish your time, sorry. Okay. Done already. Thank you. Well, that's difficult. Okay. Thank you. Can I just take a seat? This adds risk to what I would say. <laughs> 